Alright, recording. What's up? It's Jared from Vandalistic Vlogs, and look at me doing two videos in two days. It's a Christmas miracle come early. I'm just mucking around and I was looking at uh, YouTube Creator Studio and they were asking to do a survey, I guess, like a poll. Poll? Survey. Survey is the right word. Um, so we're going to go through this and see what it is that they think might be important to me. I just recently turned 41. Thank you for all your uh, cards and gifts. Really appreciate it. Not even sad. Uh, agree because I don't, don't care about this. Welcome to the survey. Please consider your experiences as a content creator as you answer the following questions. Which of the following categories best describes the type of content you create on YouTube? Select one. Mmm. <laughs> Now, I know the channel's called Vandalistic Vlogs, but honestly, I will literally just put up any old crap I feel like. So, hmm. Look, let's just put vlog on here uh, because social impact would be a funny one. Uh, but yeah, anyway, let's just go vlog. That's how it started, anyway. Okay, which of the following platforms, if any, do you create content for? Uh, I mean, I have an Instagram account. I suppose that, that counts. Among the platforms, are you considering me a primary platform? Blah. How much do you agree YouTube is an essential platform for me as a creator? I... Uh, essential? I mean, I suppose you could put things, to be honest, with the amount of views my video gets, you could put it on anything and it would be exactly the same. So, I don't know. Having said that, it's like the world's biggest search engine. I think, is it now? Is it topple? It might have toppled Google at this point. I don't know. I'm like, meh, whatever. How much do you agree or disagree with the following statement? YouTube is a crucial platform. Man, they love themselves. YouTube is a crucial platform for creator success. Uh, I agree slightly in that if you're able to garner a bigger audience, uh, I suppose it's easier to get traction on YouTube than it would be on other small platforms. Plus, YouTube has become like just part of everyday language you don't you know you don't search for things on the internet you, you google it in the same way as you know everybody thinks of a, a video streaming platform they think of youtube so yeah youtube is a vital platform in which to invest my creative energy uh vital uh, I disagree slightly because <sighs> mind doing something creative doesn't hinge on YouTube being available to me. Um, I could draw, I could write, I could make videos and just share them with people through whatever Dropbox. So, yeah, which describes how you feel about YouTube? I am. I don't like what they. <laughs> I don't like what they have done in recent years with uh, putting pressure on certain voices. Um, but the fact that it's still a free platform available for everybody to upload to is good as well. I'm going to go somewhat negative. Uh, how much... Do you agree or disagree that YouTube helps me foster a community? <sighs> hmm. By existing? Yes. But in terms of proactively putting my content in front of other people 
who either produce or enjoy the same content? I don't think so. YouTube gives me a viable opportunity to make money. I mean, viable? Yes. Realistic? No. So, I'll agree slightly. YouTube celebrates all creators. A fucking no, sir. YouTube values the diversity of its creators. I also strongly disagree because there are other things besides ethnicity and gender. And I think you'd all agree with that. YouTube allows me to share my interests and creativity with my audience. Yes, but that's for my audience. I've never done anything I don't think that could have got me taken down. Uh, I did do a video about uh, like LGBTQAIPP number one whatever uh, being um, uh, confirmed as a as a pastor in a church in here in Brisbane um, and I strongly disagree that that should have been allowed um, if you disagree with me let me know in the comments um, if you disagree with me, but you're not a Christian, you have no faith and you don't care about the church, then feel free to keep that comment to yourself because what does it matter to you? Anyway, moving on. YouTube makes it fun to be a creator. I will agree. Mm, strongly, it's not so... It's really only that it exists and you can put things out and you can have people see it. Um, I'll agree slightly. This is a very lukewarm result for the people at YouTube. Uh, we're going to ask you about specific initiatives, activities, events and communications from YouTube. You see a total of 15 screens for this exercise and each screen will feature a list of initiatives from YouTube. In each case, please select which initiative would be most appealing and which would be least appealing. I assume there's going to be some targeting of very specific demos. What have we got? This is horrible to look at, by the way. Communications in response to current... So I've got to rate these, uh, I guess, top to bottom. Most appealing, least appealing. Oh, no, because now it wants me to do... Okay, so I've got to select... Oh, one for most and one for least. Okay. Most appealing. Communications in response to current events. COVID response, stay at home, hashtag with me, staying safe on YouTube campaign, all horrible. Featuring creators in YouTube's cultural moment campaign, such as Black History Month, Women's History Month, Asian American Pride, no, don't care. Communications highlighting all the different ways creators can make money on YouTube, fucking absolutely don't care. Celebrating milestones with YouTube creator awards, such as silver, gold, platinum play, they received new levels of subscribers. I mean, look, all the woke shit I just don't care about. That's not to say that I don't like black people, women, Asians, gays, whatever. It's fine. As long as you're not a fucking asshole, then I don't mind you. But... Do I care about, is it appealing to me to have those things pop up all the time? No, it's fucking, I would say that's actually the least appealing. Okay, so I'm going to make that the least appealing, right? And then making money on YouTube, I don't care about because 
I don't care about making money on YouTube. I just want to do something that's fun for me. That's why all my videos suck because a lot of it's just things that I want to do or something that I think is funny. Like the transsexual transformers. That oh, I love that. That's so funny. It's my own video and it's only like 20, 30 seconds long and I fucking watch it like every other month. Uh, communications in response to current events? No, because I don't need YouTube. YouTube isn't, actually, it kind of is, but it's not really my news news, right? So these things I don't need to be told about on YouTube. So if we're going to say most appealing out of these few dumb things, then we'll just go with milestones because, the you know, they've been around for a while now and it's, you know, I think it's affirming for people. Um, and for the initiatives above, would you say, please later on, all of them are appealing. Some of these are appealing. None of these are appealing. Well, if you had to put least appealing and most appealing, one of them is appealing, isn't it? Stupid quiz thing. But that's just a weed out the dumb people question. Okay. Now we're doing the same thing. We're talking about these next four things. Outreach and communication to viewers from YouTube that will help creators earn more. Same thing, don't care. When possible, in-person events with YouTube plus creators. Ugh. Digital community gatherings such as Hispanic Heritage Month and Gaming Hangout. Why wasn't Hispanic Heritage Month on the other thing? You stupid. Communications that showcase the changes YouTube has made to the Studio Mobile app that make it possible for creators to manage their channel with their phone. Okay, cool. That's the most appealing because fucking that's the most useful thing. The least useful thing here is the earn more thing. And because YouTube is stupid, we have to say some of these initiatives are appealing. Digital community gatherings such as... This is the same question, you dummy. This is... This question is the same... Qu Outreach from YouTube via email creator studio for performance milestones, anniversaries, channel birthday recognition. That is cool. That, I like that. Digital events or shows featuring creators. Uh, I don't care. Social media campaigns highly highlighting the love between fans and creators. It's called the comment section and Reddit. So don't care about that at all. I'm going to go least appealing for this one because you made me look at it twice. And I'm going to do this one for performance milestones because, like I said before, that's nice. That's nice to look back. All right, yeah, they're really recycling this crap until eventually I'm going to have to... I see where it is now. It's a filter. Okay, I'm an, I'm an idiot. All right, so what's changed here? Digital workshops and trainings with YouTube product experts focused on YouTube updates or major new features from YouTube teams like channel memberships. Communications where YouTube shares tips on how to increase channel performance, more views, more watch time, more subs. I don't care about that at all. YouTube featuring... What? Publicly featuring and celebrating YouTube creators, social media, billboards, etc. Well, look. That's fine. But are you going to do that for somebody who has 1.5k subs? Or are you going to put somebody on a billboard like Felix or Green PewDiePie or... Whoever, Ninja, oh my gosh, I went to go see Fall Guy the other day, and Ninja was in it, and I'm pretty sure I said, fuck you, Ninja, every time he popped up on screen, because I hate that kid, I just, so annoying, but anyway, um, okay, so, no, okay, alright, mm. I feel like these are all, none of this is appealing to me. Uh, actually, most appealing would be the publicly featuring YouTube creators. 
if it was people that were all on the way up. Imagine if you have 5k subs and then all of a sudden there was an ad with you on it. Like, that'd be amazing. Imagine you're a gun tuber. YouTube would never do it. <laughs> never do it. Oh man, imagine you're just like driving down the road one day and up comes a billboard and it's Reno May. Because he's young and good looking, but he is a gun tuber. Uh, yeah, I think that, that is appealing to me, to be honest. But just I know that the way they would implement it would be terrible. So there's a, there's a rub there. Uh, least appealing here is, I mean, it's all in-person events. Yes. Cause I don't like people. I like people when I like people. I just, yeah. Okay. So digital workshops is the same. Spics and gaming. That's the same communications to notify and offer guidance on how to resolve issues that affect a creator's channel. Yeah, communications there, share all the features creators can engage with their audience. Well, I think that's nice. That's appealing to me. That's, you know, how to make it work. Least appealing, digital community, whatever. Wow, this is how many, I wish they had put a number on the screen so you could see where you're up to. I remember it saying it was 15 screens, but like, come on. All right, communications notice by how to resolve issues. That was the last one. Communications that showcase changes YouTube has made in the app that's been on there before. Presence at industry events, conferences such as VidCon, Beauty Fest, Regional Gaming. Yeah, okay. Communications about off platform policies and updates that impact channel on monetization. Yes, because this is the most appealing because clarity in what your policies are, I think is the most appealing thing you could offer. Uh, so I'm gonna resolve issues. This thing, that thing. What was that? Presence at industry events. Cause uh, I don't know. Whatever. Uh, the billboard one, off form, off platform policy one. Feature cultural, fact, that's my informational videos and bite sized updates on YouTube social media handles, such as creator QAs. Mm. Okay, the okay. least appealing is the cultural one because I don't think it's important. Most appealing will go the clarity one, the uh, transparency one, if you want to say that. Okay, man, this is taking a long time. I'm probably just going to fast forward through this. Uh, here's a new one. Funds an initiative to support underrepresented creators' success, such as the YouTube Black Voices Fund. Fuck me, Dad. How are you un underrepresented? How? Stop racializing everything. Fuck me dead, I hate that shit. Least appealing immediately. Didn't even read what the second one was, what the last one was. Create a specific YouTube handles on platforms like to, mm, well that's stupid because you can just put YT in your name like people used to do the TTV for Twitch. So that's not a big deal. Most appealing out of this pile is the love one. Which is funny, because it's still not great. It's just whatever. Okay, channel performance, milestones, uh, studio app, updates from executives about the platform. Why? No one cares about... Actually, that's least. No one cares to hear about the YouTube executives in quarterlies, like... No, go away. Most appealing? Milestones. Easily, milestones. Oh my god, it never ends. Outreach from YouTube for milestones. Communications in response to events. Outreach and communication 
uh, earning more updates on creative policies and tools to help manage harassment on the s- YouTube. Do you read your own fucking comment sections? Like, suppress hateful comments. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. For who? Is that for everybody? Does everybody get hateful comments suppressed? And the algorithm understand context like is it just some of the outlandish stuff that's in the comment section on uh, the videos from your mom's house from Tom Segura and Christina Pajitsky there's so much backstory and things that you have to know to not dive into that comment section and not immediately think that they're being attacked by people online when they're all fans. They're just saying horrible shit because in the context of the show, it makes sense and it's funny and everybody's having a good time together. Or you just, oh my gosh. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. (sighs) That's the least appealing one. I dislike that intensely. Most appealing... All of this is terrible. No, no, no. Uh, this one, performance milestones. I'll always go performance milestones because I think that's, I think that's great. Okay, funds and initiatives. No, updates from YouTube. No, informational advice. I no outreach and communication to viewers that will help earn more. Well, I hate all of it. These are none of these are appealing. The most appealing of these ugh, would be this one, and then the least appealing would be this one. Is it though? No, maybe it's not. Underrep- I just don't like this underrepresented creators because underrepresented creators would be the ones who make videos about things that you don't like so you don't promote them, right? Am I wrong? When you're saying underrepresented, what you really want to say is blacks and gays and Asians or whoever's getting beaten up this month. So I think it's a little bit disingenuous to say underrepresented because your example for that is the YouTube Black Voices Fund. But blacks are all over YouTube. All over YouTube. No one's... They're, they're not underrepresented. I don't... Yeah. I, oh, I hate that. I really don't like that. Just pandering. Updates from YouTube executives. Like, I probably, even though I do not care about how the business is doing, I would, I think I would much rather (laughs) hear about that than uh, underrepresented creators. Outreach and communication to viewers that YouTube would help creators earn more. And see the earning more thing is just, I don't care about that at all. Yes, that is unappealing. All right, digital. Oh, well, this is different. Digital events or shows featuring creators such as YouTube Fan Fest, Next Up, Creator Camp, or Gaming Tournaments. Actually, no, I don't think that is uh, different. I think I just went past it before. Uh, resolving issues, current events, and tips on how to increase performance. Well, out of all of those, we'll go performance. Least appealing, we go communications. None of them are really appealing. That's fine. Uh, communications that share creators engage with their audience. That's helpful. Hate and harassment. Fuck out of here. Create a specific YouTube handle. Like I said, you don't need YouTube to do that. Regular cadence of personalized emails and notifications, such as month in review. I think that's probably the most appealing. No, do you know what? 
Hmm. Engagement is probably most appealing. Least appealing would be harassment because I don't care about it. Let me do that. I think it's this weird thing. Sorry, I'm playing with this little thing because I'm. I don't know. This video is annoying me. I think people have forgotten that you can censor what you take in personally it's rather than censoring everything out in the world and then you'll be safe. Self-censorship is the best way. Like, I don't know. All right, milestones, bro. Uh, yes. YouTube policy, YouTube creator. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I actually like that one a lot. Communications that feature creators that have an engaged with the audience. Funds as initiatives. Bitch Angin. None. Well, most appealing. I'm going to go milestones. Always good. <sighs> Will this ever end? Regular cadence of emails, nope. Digital events, no. Uh, oh man, these are all terrible. None of these are terribly appealing. Especially emails. Who wants to get a bunch of it? Oh, no. oh, let's go. Digital events, least appealing. This one, all of these are basically not appealing. If the initiatives you selected as most appealing word in YouTube, would you feel more positive, less positive, or feel the same about YouTube? I would probably feel more positive because obviously those are things I thought were appealing. Seems like, a, oh, this is still going. And if the initiatives you selected as appealing were offered by YouTube, how would you agree or disagree with the following statements? YouTube is a an essential platform for me as a creator. I'd feel the same because it'd just be slightly less worse. YouTube is a vital platform in which to invest my creative energy. Yeah, it'd probably be the same. YouTube is a crucial platform for creator success. Uh, I, yeah, I still feel the same. It doesn't really... Just because it better doesn't all oh my good grief this thing takes forever now we're going to show you some key things for youtube we'd like you to understand which things you associate with each of the following initiatives digital workshops and training with the youtube product experts focused on youtube updates or major new features from youtube teams like channel memberships <laughs> okay workshop and training uh, this is, it's really to do with how you, wait a minute, focused on YouTube updates or new features. I'm going to choose this one. It's kind of not true, <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're going to choose that one. Let me click this. Digital community uh, helps build a community, I guess. Hmm. Or fairness of expression. Sure, freedom of expression. I mean, it could all be a freedom of expression. Social media campaigns highlighting love between fans and creators. Uh, and foster a community that makes the most sense uh, communication make money obviously it's monetization I'm saying that like it's a test but really they're asking my opinion communications that showcase the changes YouTube has made to the blah 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 uh, none of these really apply but I'm not typing it's just, that's too much work let's go fun <laughs> <coughs> Make it more fun to use. 
updates about creator policies and tools to help manage hate and harassment on the site, such as uh, the theme I associate with this is woke bullshit. Informational videos and bite-sized updates on YouTube, social media. Uh, it's just... Okay, let's just do that easy answer because I... Funds and initiatives to support underrepresented uh, creators' voices success. This is uh, pandering. <laughs> Pretending. <laughs> Communications where YouTube shares tips on how to increase channel's performance. Uh, I guess viable opportunity to make more money. Creative recognition. Look at this. Building a community. Monetization. Creative recognition. Fairness and equity. You don't want equity, you want equality. Like, you can't. Freedom of expression and fun. Uh, let's see, building a community, putting people on billboards, I think that's fun, as long as they're people that not everybody knows, otherwise it's just a waste of time. Uh, outreach and communication view, uh, to viewers from YouTube that will help creators earn more, such as encouraging viewers to get channel memberships from their favorite creators. That's monetization. Communications in response to current events. Uh, the theme I associate with this is don't care. Easy. Oh. Create a specific YouTube channels. Uh, it, you don't. Uh, it's unnecessary. Oh, look, I'm just going to say it makes it fun to be a creator. <laughs> Featuring cultural moment campaigns. How does it help me? <sighs> None of the above. Uh, I don't... Mm. I just don't think that this is important. Like, I don't know. I don't feel like, I feel like there's these differences just separate people more than anything. Like, you don't have to... You don't have to point out everybody's differences. Like, wouldn't it be more useful and helpful? Everybody's talking about communities. Wouldn't it be helpful to, like, recognize everybody's similarities and the things that we share rather than trying to differentiate constantly between groups? Fucking stupid. Fucking stupid. With a J. Solid rating milestones. That's acts. That's fun. That's fun. Digital events. Uh, yeah, sure. They could foster a community. But, but to be honest, all of these things, the ones that I hate, I could go down into none of the above and include the reason why I hate it. Uh, I'm just not invested in this video that much. Ah. Beg your pardon. Communications about off-platform policies and updates that impact channels or monetization. 
Uh, well, I guess... Hmm, it's none of these, really. Hmm. Uh, what is the theme? The theme is... Transparency. Hopefully I spelled that wrong. Please do not roast me. I just said, hopefully I spelled that wrong. Donk. Outreach from YouTube uh, for performance milestones, anniversaries, and channel birthday recognition. That makes it fun to be a creator. Updates from YouTube about the platform. Uh, I don't care. Ugh, look, I'm going to have to start just typing these in because I really don't. I really do not care about that. Presence at, uh, yeah, it helps me foster a community every time I go to Beauty Fest. Uh, when I'm possible, yeah, it helps me foster a community when I'm at YouTube Create, Creator Summit. A regular cadence of emails and notifications. Uh, what's the theme? The theme is filling my junk mail. Communications that share all the features creators can use to engage with their audience and best practices helps me foster a community, probably. Communications to notify and offer guidance on how to resolve issues that affect a creator's channel helps give me a viable opportunity to make money. Kind of. Thank you. Those are all the questions we have for you today. Next. And did I get any of that? I mean, what? I kind of thought there would be some kind of payoff. And really, I'm just more annoyed now than when I started doing it. Ah. All this, all this talk of like culture and equity and, you know, community and it's just, it's like so pervasive these days and I don't think, I don't know, people might think that the, the thing, when I say things like that, you know, when I point out my personal aversion to things like that, that might have been something that's developed in the last, however, you know, in the recent history. But ever since I was a kid, ever since I was a little kid, I've felt that. Because... You feel set apart sometimes for different reasons because of your race, skin color, uh, socioeconomic status, those kinds of things, you know. And everybody knows that because everybody knows the good looking kids, the smelly kids, the poor kids, the fucking foreign kids. Like, we all had that. And for me, eventually, around high school, I just kind of took all those differences in stride and just decided, this shit's not important, man. But it seems like we have generations after myself that just cling on to those differences and be all, like, hurt, carry a hurt about things that does nothing to serve them later in life, like, yeah, it's just dumb, enjoy your culture, enjoy your heritage, recognize it all, but don't use it as this, like, a badge of honor, or, you know, like, 
I'm so great and all this kind of shit. And even on the uh, on the you know the reality of things on the other side, it's like don't say bad things to me because I'm this person or I have sex with this kind of person. It's not fucking important. <laughs> anyway, that was the YouTube creator questionnaire thingy whatever if you enjoyed that then you may have some psychological issues that need dealing with perhaps therapy perhaps medications uh, but I'll leave that for you to explore on your own thanks for stopping by god bless look after each other I'll see you in the next one bye